Hey everyone, welcome back to Rich Reviews. I'm Richard and you join us on the way to the last event really at the Classic Motor Hub in Bybury for the barbecue. The barbecue event and this is an eclectic range of vehicles we'll be coming to this event today we're just on the last stretch now which is a, a painful um, very small B road down to the actual Bybury um, to the Bybury location so the location as I mentioned before in a in a previous video is an old airfield so you're gonna have these sort of tracks going to these places like the old airfield So welcome back to the Classic Motor Hub. We're here at Bybury at the old aerodrome on the old airfield. So this is the last event that occurs this year, really, or the last main event that occurs at the Classic Motor Hub. I'm just going to give you a quick, quick walk around. Uh, this is the barbecue event, so we'll give you a quick walk around, show you some of the cars that have actually turned up today, um, and then show you some of the uh, barbecue area and the, to give you a general atmosphere of what's going on today. <music> talked about this car before but this is the 575 Super America see this this is next to actually my 458 Spider. you can see I where I compared the colors before um, with the uh, Rosso Corsa on my on my 458 you can see actually it's not a comparison really it's uh, it's a lot of lighter red um, but it looks like the cars just had new tires fitted as you can see from the marks around the actual tires it's got the still the soap from where the actual tires were were eased on to the actual rims and here, whereas, whereas before we, we had um, some images and some footage of the car with the actual hood down and its locked position, here you can see how it looks with the actual hood up. And it's uh, quite an interesting design that literally pivots on a single hinge. Not too sure about what the rear visibility would be like because this has got to give some sort of weird perspective when you're inside the car because of the, because of the glass being curved to enable it to actually hinge back and latch onto the back of the car. And here we're just gonna do some comparisons now of my 458 with the 488 that's just um, a couple of cars away. As you can see here, we've got the actual venting slots on my 458 above the actual wheel arches. Now these reduce lift um, on, the, on the front over the wheel arch area because you can get a certain effect above the actual wheels which make the cars lift a bit on the front. So these reduce lift and of course provide airing as well and cooling provide air for cooling for the actual brake discs. And here we have the 488, this is actually the 488 Spider. And you can see this does not have the actual vents and cooling areas on the actual top of the 
on the top of the wheel arches. And also, if you look at the actual front section, whereas my 458 has a cutaway section here for cooling and for grills, uh, this doesn't have that either. Whereas this does have a total different design on the front. And whereas I prefer the 458 Speciali front design, you can see here this is substantially different. And I think that the 458 Speciali just about is the perfect front end design for these cars for the 458 series. I prefer my 458 to the 488. And when I say 458 series, of course, I'm classing the, the 488 and the F8 because they're all really a derivative of the same platform, of the 458 platform. So here we have a beautiful 246 GT. It's actually a 246 GT. Most people know this as the Dino. This is in Rosso Corsa. So this is a very much a stable make color for this, for this particular car. This is, this is the, uh, I think the best color for this car. A friend of mine actually has a gold 246 GTS. And I would say his gold GTS does, does trump this because his, his car is a beautiful specification and it's been recently renovated. But this is, um, this is lovely in, in, a, in a Rosso Corsa. So here we actually have a Ford GT, GT40. As we see here, it's got the actual racing driver names on the side of the car. Lightweight glass, lightweight, like a, well, it's not really glass, it's probably a Perspex material, but it does look like it's got lamination on the rear of the screen. You can pick that up because we're in low light, you can see that, the different um, characteristics of the glass. Could be Perspex, but I reckon it's glass. And it's definitely like a plastic Perspex on the actual side windows with these side vents for, for ventilation, which is, uh, looks very, very cool. Very cool car indeed. Obviously red with white striping and white accents, white stripe down the center, white Ford GT emblems down the side. Here we've got a Cobra. Um, don't for one minute think that this is an original. This must be a copy, um, but it's in very good condition. Blue with a white stripe down the center, black interior. So here you have a 458 Italia. This is black on black on black, triple black. Um, the only thing that isn't black is the actual um, canards, the actual front canards that actually provide um, some of the aero for the car. The actual, the way the canards work it actually is as you're moving along, you create um, faster airspeed. As the airspeed increases, it actually puts pressure on the ends of the canards and it actually depresses them and deforms them such that it allows more air into the car and creates down, downward force on the actual canards. So it definitely adds um, some aero to the actual car with regards to downforce and enable more airflow through as the canards deform. This has got the, the, the body colored rear grille section. But as I said before, what used to be called the challenge grille when it was changed to a challenge grille from the original specification or when it was actually a challenge Stradale on the earlier challenge 360 cars. Because I said this is a barbecue event, this is the last major event at the Classic Motor Hub. We've actually got a band here as well on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, we've actually got the eating area. So as we look on the left hand side, you've actually got the eating area. This is all the seating area people are eating. Two eating slots, which is um, some great food. Obviously it's barbecue food and it's provisioned by a third party company that they've outsourced the, the food and culinary services to. As we walk around the hub, you've got the actual normal coffee area, coffee area at the weekends when we have our normal coffee events and our classic events. We actually have, um, they actually provide the actual bacon butties and uh, sausage, sausage and bacon butties and coffees, of course. We just walk around to the major car park now. So this is the, the car park that exists at the back where most of the cars are, are parked up. So here we have an actual quite rare 991, 991 GT2 RS YSAC pack. These were, these were not in low numbers, so they weren't actually limited on volume, but they were certain customers only. So these, these cars were only actually allowed to be purchased by certain customers. This is actually the most powerful 911 that's ever been made to date so far. This has 691 brake horsepower. Now that may not seem a hell of a lot when you look at the, when you look at the SF90s, etc. of the Ferrari world and the up and coming 296, but for a Porsche 911, considering this is a lightweight car, in effect, like the GT2, like is in effect like the GT3 RS engine, with two whacking great turbos bolted onto it to give it that 691 brake horsepower, 700 PS for those who want the uh, the converted rate. Beautiful design, the Wysak pack giving it the carbon fiber grille sections on the on the wheels, similar 
provides similar performance characteristics to um, to that on the on the 458 where it actually reduces lift over the wheels and actually provides um, air for cooling to the actual discs which are actually carbon ceramics of course on these cars as, as we come along here we've got an Aston Martin V12 Vantage and a beautiful Bentley here this is actually a beautiful car just managing loafing around in this car eh? cool number plate as well quadruple 9dk moving along here we've got a, a yellow 355 spider as anybody who knows me and knows the channel will know that uh, it's one of my favorite cars ever the actual 355 and here along here we've got a 458 spider again every specification rosso corsa black nero interior it's got the comfort seats a good specification of carbon inside um, the grigio um, gray wheels um, carbon fiber on the rear end it's got the sports um, sports exhaust tips on there so yeah lovely specification we believe it's the family that actually have brought these two cars to the event today so they own the 458 spider and the 355 spider what a great cracking combination eh gotta love the 355 just love the 355 but for me it would have been the 355 gts and i believe this would be a manual box as well which it is look at that beautiful shift configuration beautiful car yeah, I know. and just leaving now is actually a Ferrari Portofino now this Ferrari Portofino we'll catch it on camera you can hear it just starting up now we'll catch it as it comes round it's got a very very high specification a lot of carbon and what's very interesting on this Portofino is it's actually got the painted shields so that's a very high option very very high class option very expensive option as you can see there as it moves away the painted shields I believe that the only way if you had a bang on one of those wings, I believe the only way you can actually repair it is by sending the car back to Maranello. So we've given you a bit of a walk around the actual Classic Motor Hub today for the barbecue event. Some beautiful cars around as usual, as there always is the Classic Motor Hub. Thanks again for the Classic Motor Hub for letting us film. It's very kind of them to do that. Um, and uh, yeah, some interesting cars just in front of me here. You've got um, you know a plethora of red cars. Obviously you've got the black car there as well, the 488, the Alfa Romeo, my 458 Spider, the 575. Um, Super America and uh, another Alfa Romeo, uh, Lotus, I'm not too sure what the car is at the end. Dark, it's getting pretty dark here now, so it's pretty tricky for me to see. So we're going to close out the video now from Classic Motor Hub. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, then please give it a thumbs up and give it a like. Very important for the, for the um, good old YouTube algorithms. Some great content to come, as always, on the Rich Reviews channel. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.